how are you? I am doing wonderful. Today is Valentine's Day, the 14th of February, 2021, and I am loving as I sit here to do this voiceover. I'm looking out at a snowy day. It's gorgeous. It started snowing yesterday, and I would say that we are somewhat snowed in here in the Northwest when it does snow we usually stay home and so I woke up really early this morning and my morning started out just beautiful I checked my seedlings and I have sprouts and I'm so so happy about that and I uh, just wanted to bring you along today as I sat down to do my weekly setup for my note to self binder now I have not shared this yet this is new this year to me I decided that in addition to my regular traveler's notebook, I can't get away from that. I use that for my weekly and monthly planning. And I've done some previous videos of setup and it just, I enjoy that. And I enjoy my Chic Sparrow. I have, um, that just fits in my purse. It goes everywhere I go with me and I paint and do all kinds of things in it. This particular notebook in addition to the other things I play in, like my regular monthly project life, I was very intrigued and wanted to do a weekly project life. However, I didn't want to have, you know, big pocket pages for that. I wanted to start out small. So I decided to get a Felicity Jane note to self binder and I got the inserts that go with it and I am loving it. So this is week seven, and I did start January 1st uh, for the first week, and I have been very diligent in every Sunday. I've set aside time to do a setup for that week. And what I've decided to do each week is I use these two pages to set up for the date and the week, similarly to what you would do in a project life, right? And then I use my mini cam Canon, or I'll use my, you know, I'll print pictures off, just two by two pictures, small little pictures that I can put in that highlight events of the week. And it's a place for me just to walk by and um, layer up some pretty things on these pages. And I, right here, right there, wherever I feel like it. And at the end, I'll show you uh, a quick glimpse of my previous weeks, but Today, I just thought I would sit down and um, do this with you. So, I'm using my some of my favorite letters. These are the Essential Alpha and the Essential Numbers by one of my favorite people in all the world, Allie Brown um, from Allie Brown Creative. And she um, she's just amazing, but created these numbers and I use them, as you can see, often. And I decided in a kind of different fashion. I've been using stickers. I kind of just use whatever I feel like and I felt like stamping today. So I pulled out my stamp positioner and nothing is more therapeutic than just, you know, <laughs> really just placing these numbers down, inking them up and then putting them down onto the paper. There's such satisfaction when you stamp and I love stamps and I have loved stamps forever, but um, I'm partial to stickers too. So I kind of just use whatever I'm feeling like. And um, so these inserts fit into the note to self and I think it's a standard um, what is it a6 a5 I, I'm not really completely sure what that I should put that below for you many of you probably already know but using my archival ink and just doing a simple black and I love these outline numbers I love to use you know different mediums to color them in, leave them like they are, stamp them in different colors. Um, but I enjoy kind of adding the color to these. So finishing up this 21 for next Sunday. And I go Monday through Sunday on these. So I'm just getting better at cleaning up as I go and putting my numbers away. I love these. Uh, Allie has her stamps come on those beautiful um, inserts. And so I just put them together because I use them often together. And so here we go. I sort of have the layout and I apologize in advance for having, I'm a little off camera. And I had originally done this as a live um, 
presentation, but I decided to do a, a voiceover. So I decided I'm gonna go and pull some water out. Now, I don't watercolor on these too much, but I just got this new palette from By the Well for God. It's my, um, I love Daniel Smith watercolors, and I have a variety of different kinds. I actually have a quite, I love my watercolor, I love my watercolor collection, but decided today to pull these beautiful things out and just use my water pen or my water brush so that I didn't saturate or bring too much water. Just wanted to grab some color. And I decided I love this. Um, each week I kind of pick a theme that I want to go with. And um, surprisingly, I picked similar to what I picked last week and I'll show you that at the end. But I love this really pretty um, kind of turquoise teal green. And the water uh, amount on this paper, this paper that Felicity Jane provides is actually pretty good. It's like a smooth texture. Um, so no texture I mean on it, but it's it picks, it holds the water okay. It buckled a little bit in drying. So I was watching how much water I was putting on there. And that color that I'm using, I believe is a, um, what is the name of that? I'll put the colors I'm using below. Uh, this is just a, one of the simple palettes and I did, it is an investment and there's some other colors I wanna add and it came with another tin where I could get a tube uh, to create other Daniel Smith watercolors and I love to mix and match and make different colors but I just received this probably, I just got this a couple weeks ago so I've already been playing in it a little bit great way to just get the color down and into these beautiful little numbers. So relaxing. I could do this pretty much all day. Watercolor is one of my very favorite things to just grab the water and put the color down. I was thinking this seems more marine-ish. There are, it's pretty similar. I, you know, been into the pinks and reds for Valentine's Day, so I thought this week I would do uh, maybe a little little different. Now I pull out my washi collection. I love putting washi on my pages, washi on everything actually. And I then pulled this little zig pen out. I just got these. I have a collection of colors, some uh, primary colors, and then this is my black one. And one is a, one end, it's a dual sided pen, is a 0.5 writing tip. And this is a dot and you can make the dots very small depending on how much pressure you put on it, but I just love that. So I thought, oh, let's put a little period behind each of those numbers and trying to decide on some great washi. And I'm using some washi from Paige Evans. I love this floral on uh, navy color. So I thought that would be really pretty to add in the flowers. I'm telling you, I feel like I want spring here so, so much. <laughs> Although I'm enjoying this beautiful snow I see outside my window and I apologize you can't see my washi very well I move up in a minute, but I um, Put a little of that and then I think I play and grab that white striped. Yes, I do and that's from Felicity Jane love this just pure white um, color and Very upset at myself for not making sure I was in frame Hopefully in a second I push that up and so I am sort of just sharing right now what I what I like to do. I, I enjoy making this, this little pie plate is sort of my catch-all. So through the week, I'll print things that are digital and cut them out and then put them in the pie plate. And I have even put my Paige Evans, when I got that washi, it came with a um, bunch of ephemera. So I had put some of those that I had been using in the pie plate. And the pie plate is sort of what I use for this note to self and just kind of will I, I guess you could call it my little junk pile. My little pie of junk. <laughs> junk pie. And so I, random things I put in there, like I'll stamp something and not want to use it. And so instead of throwing it away, I'll throw it in here as sort of a catch all. And I'm hoping to stay on top of all of this because I seem like you probably do as well. I seem to collect so much of it. And I decided I would pull out the Paige Evans. I love Paige Evans. She has so many, her colors are so vibrant and happy and her layouts that she does inspire me for just the texture and the different kinds of paper crafts you can do. I'm finding it's just so 
therapeutic to, you know, put the colors together and glue and tape and cut and do all of the things. So I pull out a couple of these things and I like the way that color of this little, this little tag that I believe says, I'm not sure it says, oh, it says say yes to new things. So um, what a great week for that. It is actually our school, uh, I'm a teacher and so this is our midwinter break which I never had a midwinter break when I was growing up, but it's um, definitely a welcomed uh, respite for students and teachers alike. We are in remote setting, so I am teaching middle school students PE, which is my passion, and I am loving it. However, I really cannot wait to see their sweet faces again. And we just had our our uh, littles go back, our kindergarten and first in our district got to go back this week, so we're kind of excited. I'm thinking positive that maybe we might get to go back this year. So I'm putting down a watercolor um, heart that I had put down, or that I had made and cut out with my punch, and then decided to use the butterflies to sort of pull this week together and use some um, 3D dimensional dots to put that butterfly up off the page and then February memories was something I had stamped on a piece of white cardstock and had cut out and now I'm just messy framing I love to just border out add a little bit of a grounding to the layout and really I'm keeping it simple because I will begin to pile things on I will um, Put pictures I will write little captions and I usually will fill this up so here's a look at the beautiful Felicity J note to self binder and as you can see it's a six ring and I have just a little title page for the year and labeling each layout by the week and just noting highlights of the week and then in between each of them this is my Grab therapy where I just kind of have fun layering things that make me happy. It's been really, really fun. And I do, I use my Canon IV to take little pictures, my little two by three pictures. It just makes for so much fun. And just journal caption style. Nothing too, too long, but, um, yeah, I have some personal journaling that I covered up there, but just I keep it kind of light um, most of the time. Just more of a happy place, but room for, you know, times when I want to just write what I'm feeling. And as you can see, it's getting a little skinny through these <laughs> last weeks and uh, have been a little bit busy. And this is uh, this past week that ends today, Valentine's Day. Lots of fun things to highlight this past week. And those are my seed packets. So I put little ephemera and things I can use. So here's a look at this layout. And this week I will be piling all kinds of things on there. And um, I just want to say thank you for joining me today. I hope you were inspired. If you have questions about the note to self, I'm exploring it and having a great time. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.